Hey what's up guys, so the Raiden Shogun banner is ending in just 2 weeks, well about 2 weeks by the time of me recording this video, so of course Kokomi is coming right after her. Um, Kokomi is going to be an interesting character that has a lot of people talking about her, so how will she work? Is she going to be any good? Is she going to be the next Barbara? Why does she have minus 100 crit rate? I'm going to be talking about all of this in this video and speculate some things about her alongside you guys. So guys, thank you for your recent support on all of my videos and my channel as a whole i hope you do enjoy this video and if you do consider liking this video so subscribing to the channel as well that would be greatly appreciated all right without a further ado let's just get straight into the video shall we kokomi is genshin's second hydro catalyst user right after barbara yes barbara is the first as we all know in the beginning of the game, Barbara was an excellent unit, helping your team stay alive with the heals. She really was pretty good in the beginning of the game. Everybody had her on your team. Well, that's a big reason because she was on the first banner, as well as she is a free character. It's really easy to get Barbara, and that's why people use her a lot. But as soon as other characters joined the game and people started to learn about Bennett or whatever it may be, Barbara got replaced really quick. And let me just talk about why it's a little unfortunate. Well, yes, <laughs> putting it this way, it's more than just unfortunate, but it's just the way her kit is, especially because she is a catalyst user. So a major issue with users who use, you know, Catalyst Bug or Magic or, you know, dealing damage is that you can't go up against opponents of the same type. Let me give you an example. All right, so an example would be trying to use Barbara to fight those pesky Hydro Mimics. They are absolutely the worst kind of enemies to go up against if you have Barbara. Literally can't do anything unless you have the Eye of Perception, I guess. But it doesn't work it has no effect they are immune to the damage as a whole i'm gonna give you guys another example maybe even klee klee trying to attack a pyro slime is probably the funniest thing ever because she has literal bombs going against these slime creatures monsters that have no chance going against those bombs it has no effect legitimately not effective it does not work they are immune to Klee's damage it's really unfortunate for catalyst users because well they have a lot of potential these catalyst users can't do anything about them kind of uh kind of an unfortunate situation for them so as you see the major flaws just glare at you as soon as you hear catalyst user on anyone and in barbara's case a healer no less basically her kit she heals you and you kind of want that healer to do the healing all right cool have an individual such as bennett who heals gives attack bonus who has a sword which means you can do physical damage in the case where you can't use pyro damage you just use your physical damage with ben and that's why they're just that much better than Barbara, for example. All right. Well, what about Kokomi? Is she meant to be a healer? Is she going to end up like Barbara? Well, I wouldn't go there just yet. But according to Genshin Impact's live stream and her reveal trailer, she's going to be a lot more interesting than a lot of you might think. Of course, there's still that problem with her not being able to hit any type of hydro-related units, such as the hydro mimics or the hydro slimes. It's a little unfortunate, but that's how it is. Talk a little bit about her elemental skill. Her elemental skill is going to summon a jellyfish that remains on the battlefield, continues to heal your team, as well as attack the enemies using hydro AoE damage. This causes her to increase damage dealt by her own normal and charged attack. Oh, that's pretty interesting to me. That means they want her to be a strong, normal, and charged attack user. So, as some of you may know, she has minus 100 crit rate. But because she has minus 100 crit rate, she has increased healing bonus. So that's going to be a pretty good positive for your output and healing in general. But how good is it going to be? I can't really tell you guys yet. I mean, a minus 100 crit rate is pretty negative, right? You, you guys don't like that. However, to me, I think I kind of think it's a good idea. All the Genshin characters go on crit rate crit damage and you kind of want to build off that it's a little unfortunate but most of these characters are like that so having a new character that has minus on crit rate make so much more time and effort into other types of stats instead of just crit rate and crit 
damage. So some pieces that you might have thrown away actually might have been good for Kokomi right here, which I think is pretty interesting. And this gives a lot of people an opportunity to play the game a little differently, which I think is pretty awesome as a whole. Generally get tired of building the same character basically for every single unit, same, you know, wait, going to be pretty interesting if I do manage to get Kokomi. So yeah, please game. I'm uh, I'm gonna have to try to wish on her banner and attempt to pull for her for that uh, for Kokomi. <laughs> please, please help me game. I used up all my gems on the ball banner. I don't know what to do now. Maybe the Genshin Impact uh, anniversary summons will help me get over that limit. Oh, because in terms of Prima gems, I'm all out of Prima gems. <laughs> uh, but yeah. In my personal opinion, we can't really judge her as a character just yet. And we have to wait and see what she'll do when she gets into the game. And uh, people start showing off her real capabilities through in-game comps, through videos, and through, you know, reviews and such like that, including me as well if I do get Kokomi. Well, leading off that, am I going to be getting Kokomi or pulling for Kokomi? Well, I'm gonna try my damn hardest, but it's unlikely that I get her because, well, my Primo Gem game is kind of, uh, <laughs> kind of die right now. Anyways, is Kokomi going to be any good? Should you pull on her? Well, I can't tell you just yet, but if you do keep up with my channel, I'll let you guys know in a future video very soon. Thanks as always for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, consider liking this video as well, subscribing to the channel as well. Hope you guys did enjoy. See you guys in the next video very soon. Goodbye.